What's up America? This is Kim from Geauga Farms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to do a video on shooting from the car. One quick tip I like to give people is when you're wearing like a lighter sweatshirt or a light coat, you can tuck your shirt and your coat behind your gun before you sit down. It just takes a second and then if you ever did have to access it, it makes it much more accessible. So we're in the car and there's a threat. Let's see how we access our pistol. I'm going to move this out of the way so we can see better. So the first thing we want to do is we want to pull ourselves forward and we're going to reach back, access our pistol, we want to make sure that we don't muzzle ourselves or anyone else in the car. So from here we're able to get a hopeful grip on the gun, we can scan, we can shoot this way. So notice my seatbelt's on and now I'm going to show if I didn't have my sweatshirt um, tucked into my holster. So I'm going to lean forward, rip it up, bring it out. And being in a car, you have to remember, you have to justify why you're going to use deadly force. So you need to explain why you couldn't have just drove away. A lot of people ask us about shooting through glass. The first round might have a minute effect on, and if you have follow-up shots, they're probably going to go right through the same hole. Another thing to remember is the sound. It's a life or death situation, so it doesn't really matter, but you're not going to have hearing for a while. A key concept we stress at Geauga Farms Academy is mindset and a big part of that is situational awareness do you know your car does it automatically lock when you put your keys in the ignition when you start it this truck locks at 15 miles per hour so before you get on your phone when you get in your car make sure your doors are locked make sure you assess the situation you know what's going on around you and make sure that your part your car is um, running, that you're in drive and you're ready to go. That way in case a situation arises you have the least amount of things to do before you're ready to get out of there. We like to tell people to park their car like they're driving their friend's very expensive sports car. You want to park away from people. You want to park at the outskirts of where everyone is parking. That way you know if someone goes past that last car that there's nowhere for them to go but towards you. Which means you should start paying attention to what that person is doing. As a mother of a toddler this is especially important because you feel most vulnerable when you're trying to buckle your child into a car seat. You also want to pay attention to who's behind you. Have they been following you at every turn? And what do you do if you feel like someone's following you? while you drive to the police station. Also, when you pull up to someone, you always want to leave enough room where you can see their back tires. That way you know you have enough room if you had to go around them. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. And if you haven't done so already, you can subscribe and also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6.